Hello, Azumi here with the Dread Black Staff Raid, and uh, my team is going to be Ray up front with uh, the Fortune Hammer for resuscitation and the Feather Blade for healing, and then just light, light damage. Finally have a use for Twin Spear in this battle, and it's more of the same thing, just staggered the Fortune Hammers for more resuscitation time. Mari 05, Vanity Red is for, you guessed it, Resuscitation and Quick. One of my favorite ones in this fight, it works really good for Hell, is Elizabeth. Um, here is her gear, the Purification Staff for a little bit of extra healing. And what makes her really good is the Light Elemental Damage 20% up for 3 turns to all your heroes. So that is actually really good. And DL, who I've been testing all day, and I've decided, yeah, she is really good in this fight. So here we go. Three summons. The only one I'm missing is her. I got him the other day, actually, so I'm only missing one now. So here we go with the fight. Um, there's no denying it. This guy is straight up Eins. That's just what I'm going to call him. Um, he is in the magic row and is considered Therian, and the info has him listed as grounded. Now, I've been testing out fights with DL and without DL all day, and to me, he seems like he is definitely airborne. So, I'm going to stick with he is airborne. Um, his action skill is going to be 60% dark magic attack damage five times and Shade for 5 turns, and Skill Gauge 15% down 3 times to your whole team. Now, Shade is only going to affect Aesir, Yotun, Elves, and Dwarves, and it also ignores counterattacks. His Auto Skill is Dark Magic Attack Damage, and Skill Gauge 20% down to the 3 farthest enemies, and Skill Gauge 20% down to the three nearest enemies. So your middle one's going to get hit the most with that. And on Hard Plus, which Hard and Hell, is Silence for three turns to the back three of your allies, and Slow for three turns to the three nearest allies. And, slow and the Slow and Silence affects everybody no matter what they are. And also... Um, you're going to get hit with Curse and Stat Buffs Nullified. The Stat Buffs Nullified applies to all races, and the Curse applies to Aesir, Yotun, Elves, and Dwarves. And the Soul Burst that he uses is 50% 50 50 Dark Magic Attack Damage 10 times to all your team, and in Ignore shields and counterattacks, so you can't sift cheese him. Um, you're gonna want to use stick with light in this fight. Nothing else is really all that effective. Um, all his other stats are about halfway for fire, light, and earth. Um, light resistance is pretty low, and dark resistance is obviously really high, so stay away from those. Um... You can use Sifrin in this fight, regular Sif. Uh, Awakened Aurora would be a good substitute for the mat, the uh, light damage up. Viola would work pretty good. The, as I said before, DL is great. Awakened Madoka. And the new one, I guess, is Crossy is how you say that. I'm not sure. Definitely Sorticia and... Probably even the Silver Valkyrie Brunhild would work pretty good. I average about around three million every fight, so I'm not. I don't really see a need to get it any higher than that. I'm not trying to min max it at all. And here we go. So Ray is always number one, and DL is always number two, and it switches back and forth between Mari and Elizabeth for me. So. I use this the same team on Hell with the exact same setup, and it seems to do pretty good. So that's going to be about it. Thank you for watching.